Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and today Google has launched a new feature within Google Merchant Center that allows you to search using more defined options. So when you go to your Google Merchant Center account and click on products, you see a new icon and this is called search for products. When you click on it, it will pre-build some features that allows you to see what uh, you can already do. For example, if you want to see manually added products, it will say it in plain English what that is. Uh, also, which products cost me clicks but are out of stock. Normally that should show a zero because out of stock products should not show uh, performance, um, but it could show that from the last, for example, 30 days, if it recently has been out of stock. Uh, also manually added the products that aren't showing up. So this is pretty cool. So basically uh, you just click on what you want to see. So for example, visible products without clicks, that would be a very useful thing. So now you can see like, oh, this product uh, is uh, not getting any clicks, but it is showing. So what do we need to do? For example, improve the product title, the image. Uh, maybe it's a product that has issues. It's a pricing issue. Um, could be many reasons. Um, so let's go and just remove that and then it will pop up again. And then basically you can ask whatever you want. Uh, for example, high impressions but low clicks. Let's see what that brings up. There we go. So it comes up with clicks under 10 and then you can see uh, which products are affecting. You can also then see, of course, other attributes such as the click potential. Um, I want to actually talk about the click potential because a lot of customers uh, and merchants get a little bit confused with this attribute um, that they think it's purely based on the product information <clears throat> that you submit. However, it is based also on historical uh, performance. Um, so it's not just purely based on what info you submit. I've actually written an article about it and some very important information that actually Google has hidden uh, after like one or two days. So I do have a record of that information so do have a look at that video about click potential um, but anyways let's go talk about um, the filters so this is a very cool filter now it is as always not available on all accounts it, um, this one is now on an Australian account but if I look at for example a US account this filter is not available and that is why uh, it is rather annoying that not all features are available to all uh, merchants. However, uh, they should be uh, available soon, I hope. So this is pretty cool. Um, so you can ask basically anything, but it is based off your data. So of course, don't ask questions that is not possible. Now, what would be interesting is, for example, with my uh, script to pull out data from Performance Max to your account, and then you can pull that into uh, Google Merchant Center as a supplement feed, which includes then the conversions, the conversion value, etc if custom attributes are also available in this query, that will be very good. Um, so uh, unfortunately this account, I don't have that set up yet. However, it will be useful to test out on other accounts where I do have the performance data linked up and then uh, check how all that works. So that's it. Basically, it's a short video just to show you that there's a new feature within Google Merchant Center and uh, that is very cool. And of course, the filtered downloads you works as well. Uh, I think I mentioned that four months ago or something that before that, when you click on the download icon, it would download everything regardless of your filters. But now that works properly as intended. So you can download just specifically what you have filtered. So that is pretty good. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment downstairs or reach out. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.